believe that recessions and inflations are limiting your financial freedom, I can relate. In the same way that your financial plan for retirement needs to have a balance between how much return you expect in relation to how much risk you are ready to accept, it has always been about striking a balance between what makes you money and what makes you happy. If you include cryptocurrency in your financial strategy, the potential profits and risks also increase. However, because of their enormous potential to develop into something significant, it's crucial to take into account cryptocurrencies in your retirement plan. Choosing the right cryptocurrency is important though. We'll examine a cryptocurrency called SafeMoon version 2 and how it fits into your retirement plan. Stay tuned to the end of this video as we examine the specifics of how many SafeMoon version 2 tokens you will need to acquire to retire in 10 years. If you haven't already, I recommend that you watch this because the findings might surprise you. Before we continue, a brief request from us. If you find value in this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss our valuable crypto content in the future. Now, off to answer the question, how much of SafeMoon version 2 do you need to retire in just a decade? SafeMoon was one of the newest cryptocurrencies when it was introduced in March 2021. SafeMoon earned endorsements from famous people during this year, including sports blogger David Portnoy, rapper Lil Yachty, and YouTuber Jake Paul. SafeMoon's value increased swiftly as a result, but intriguingly, it had no more unique use cases. In addition to serving as a store of wealth, it did not enable decentralized apps or automated smart contracts like Bitcoin. Up until the release of SafeMoon version 2, it could only be used to store value and to send and receive payments on the Binance Smart Chain platform. SafeMoon version 2 debuted in December 2021. Version 2 significantly grew to become a blockchain technology and business to construct blockchain commerce metaverse and NFT products, in line with the aim stated on its website. This is a utility token for the SafeMoon ecosystem, unlike its original form. But what sets SafeMoon apart from other cryptocurrencies is its token economics. The SafeMoon's most notable characteristic is that it levies a 10% fee every time you sell the token. That is to say, in addition to whatever costs you would owe a cryptocurrency exchange for arranging the sale, say if you sold $1,000 worth of SafeMoon version 2 tokens, you would also pay a $100 charge on the transaction. Its creators assert that charging a 10% fee would allow them to alleviate some of the problems that other cryptocurrencies have such as price fluctuation. SafeMoon aims to stop day trading of its coin with every sell order. SafeMoon's crypto creators have a long-term objective for the development of the cryptocurrency. The designers intended to create a token that will provide secure revenues and prevent bubbles from emerging. It encourages users to purchase and hold onto their tokens as opposed to speculating to raise the price. The 10% fees received are dispersed for a variety of reasons, but what matters to you is that 4% of this charge is returned to all current SafeMoon version 2 token holders in proportion to their holdings. Therefore, even if you don't take any action, just holding on to your tokens will increase their value, which is really ingenious if you ask me. According to their tweet's clarification, in addition to receiving additional tokens through redistribution, you could also gain more tokens by staking incentives. If you stop to think about it, your continued safe moon holding will allow you to receive redistributions in addition to rewards. Considering that the safe moon team wants to create a whole ecosystem around its currency, even though it is still in the early stages, their plans are quite ambitious. You should think about SafeMoon version 2 tokens for your retirement or rather financial freedom plan because if implemented successfully, this might make it a major token in the future. In order to ensure your post-retirement years, how many of these tokens would you need to keep? Assessing the cost of living is the first step. You must project your cost of living for the next decade because costs of living are highly variable. The current cost of living in the United States, assuming you want to retire there, is estimated to be around $4,500 per month. The median annual inflation rate in the United States during the past 30 years has been 2.4%, which means that the cost of living today is about $54,000 per year. That's about $68,450 in 10 years. Second, 
A continuous input of funds from your investments is crucial to surviving off passive income. The yield of rewards typically vary from time to time, but as we've seen from other established cryptocurrencies, this typically settles at about 5%. The Safe Moon version 2 tokens can earn you a staking reward. I've made the assumption for this calculation that you would receive a 5% annual return on the value of your tokens. Third, the third and final stage is calculating the value of Safe Moon version 2 tokens in 10 years' time. This is arguably the most challenging part since cryptocurrencies have a tendency to be quite volatile. However, now that you are familiar with SafeMoon version 2's token, we can estimate its price using relative pricing. Since both Bitcoin and the original SafeMoon token were used as a means of exchange and both have a finite quantity, they can be compared relatively to one another. The maximum token supply cap gives the token premium value as demand increases. Since both Ethereum and SafeMoon aim to build an ecosystem of projects, even though Ethereum is a platform that lets other developers build products on it, and SafeMoon develops projects independently, Ethereum can also be used in comparison. Ethereum and SafeMoon will be more or less similar if we look at Bitcoin, it currently has a market cap of $558 billion, and Ethereum has a market cap of $238 billion. Since SafeMoon was founded in 2021, it clearly isn't as developed. However, given its ambitions, I believe that SafeMoon will eventually reach half that of Bitcoin and Ethereum. In other words, in 10 years, it will be worth 0 0.279 cents. And if it reaches half of the current market capitalization of Ethereum in 10 years, it will be worth 0.119. This is a reasonable estimate for two reasons. First, it will take significantly shorter time for SafeMoon version 2 to catch up to Bitcoin and Ethereum in terms of market cap, if it is successful in building a thriving ecosystem around its token. Second, as the public becomes more aware of cryptocurrency, more individuals will get involved, and the token's projects like SafeMoon that produce value will surpass the rest. Despite this, it is still advised to exercise caution in the crypto market today. So according to my estimations, the value of SafeMoon will be, on average, 0.27 to 0.119 cents in 10 years. The key issue that I posed at the beginning of this video is how many SafeMoon version 2 tokens are needed to retire in a decade. Based on our estimations, the amount of tokens needed to support you in 10 years will be roughly 6.9 million, or $4,622 in today's currency. Be aware that this video is primarily intended for informational purposes only, and we do not make claims to offer concrete financial advice. To reach a firm decision that you can be certain of, conduct your own crypto market research today. Do you think it would be a good idea to save up on cryptocurrencies and live off of passive income alone? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Additionally, leave a like, subscribe, and click the bell button to receive information on our new crypto content related videos. If you want to watch more of our content, check out this video in the lower right corner. You can also check out our playlist of related content. Anyway, see you later and thank you for watching.